come on in our study on the attributes of God. Um, this week, it, it's a big one. Um, the knowledge of God. This causes, when you delve deep into this study of this attribute, it causes a lot of questions. Um, it will cause, it, for the faithful, for the repentant, it's going to cause you to um, delve deeper into study. For the unrepentant, it's going to cause a lot of anger. And then one of the main questions, if you ever have discussions with someone that is of uh, any other religion, or either atheist or agnostic, um, it's going to drive a series of questions um, that's, that's going to uh, say, well, I thought you said your God is love. Even some uh, shallow into the pool Christians are going to say, well, that's not the God I know. Well, then I think you need to go back and study because the God I know, yes, he is love, but he's many other things all wrapped up in the one. So uh, before we kick off, I want to read um, Psalm 139 to you. Okay, Psalm 139 covers the omnipresence and the omniscience of God. Um, I'm reading out of the NASB in the 